Hello Cheapskaters, I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. I'm pretty sure we are all suffering from sticker shock these days. But it doesn't have to shock our budget. There are some really simple ways that we can avoid sticker shock affecting us and our grocery budgets. And they are things, little tricks that everyone can use. The first is an old favourite. Shop with a list and stick to it, or rather stick to the item on the list. That just means we need to be prepared to be brand flexible and also substitute flexible. Sometimes what you want will be too expensive. So have a couple of substitutes in mind that you can use instead as long as they are cheaper. There's a list of substitutes on the Cheapskates Club website. I'll put a link to it below. Then just keep your eyes open and watch the register. Check your dockets and make sure you are not being overcharged. If you notice a price discrepancy, point it out immediately. Now, depending on the store policy, you could be entitled to get the item free. In Australia, the supermarket code of conduct is voluntary. So not all stores abide by it. But point out the error and at least get the price corrected. Another way to buy, uh, sorry, another way to avoid sticker shock is to buy ingredients. Do you remember my favourite saying? Ingredients give you options. And those options include paying less to make your favourite foods with ingredients rather than with packets and boxes and jars. This one will make a huge difference straight away. Stop buying soft drinks. They are expensive, even the Aldi and store brands. And they absolutely are not good for you at all. Switch to water, add a slice of lemon or orange if you can't drink plain water. Your grocery budget and your health will thank you. And with the rising prices of soft drinks, that's one sticker shock you won't be getting. Now, as you shop and watch the stickers, be sure to watch the unit price too. Shrinkflation is a thing. We've talked about this before. The bag looks the same size. The contents have shrunk even if the price is the same as last week. So you're paying more for less. Look at what you're buying. Can you use the ingredients you're buying to move something? Corn chips come to mind, although these aren't really corn chips, but pita chips. Pita bread is cheap, cheap, cheap. And, you know, they can be seasoned and easily made into chips. I have the instructions on the Cheapskates Club website. They're easy to do. And remember, sale is a four-letter word. It doesn't necessarily mean that item is a bargain. Learn your prices and the genuine sale cycles and you will never be caught out. If something isn't up to scratch, return it for a refund. Don't let laziness cost you money. If it's not what you need, it's not fit for purpose, take it back. Another thing is to buy what you eat. Buying something just because it's cheap and you don't eat it, well, that's just a waste of money and pantry space. And it makes mealtime miserable. So perhaps go back to basic recipes, simple meals with just a few ingredients. Um, rissoles, meatloaf, spaghetti bowl, kaisi ming, vegetable soup, curried sausages or a sausage casserole, a meat or a chicken pie fried rice. These are all quick and easy to make and they all use basic ingredients that you probably have in your pantry and that will save you money and waste and most of all most of them are family favorites. So why not? And get into the habit of shopping at clearance stores first then heading to the supermarkets. In Victoria we have NQR where prices are up to 80% off Try the reject shop or discount department stores. Chemists often have a great 
price um, scale on grocery lines that are for limited time only. If you really want to avoid sticker shock, you just have to put a little effort into your shopping. And lastly, do your research. Inventory the pantry, make the meal plan, create the shopping list, search for the cheapest prices to buy what you need and then be prepared to shop around. It will take a little longer, but we're cheapskates. Our goal is to live life debt free. To do that, we need to cut back on spending without cutting back on our standard of living. Before I go, thank you so much for watching all the way through and for subscribing. Feel free to leave a comment. I read every single comment and I do my best to answer your questions. There are three simple things you can do to help me and our channel, and that is like, subscribe and share. These three things help our channel grow and be recognised more easily. And of course, the easier it is to find us, the easier it is for us to spread the message that it is not only okay to live life debt free, cashed up and laughing, but it is absolutely possible even in today's crazy world. I'll be back with another video to show you how to live life debt free, cashed up and laughing very, very soon. But until then, happy cheap skating.